hello everyone and welcome again back to the channel and you see who we're going to be talking about now for all the time i'm pretty much lost his mind okay he called himself <laughs> always putting himself out there to talk about something and try to give us some poetic type of ministering i don't know who told him he could write sayings and he could cuss and use the lord in the same verse okay i understand simon pray on this day that you find someone to love you and you love on okay then we got folks tan his behind up in the comment section all right i i don't understand simon i really don't portia you can't leave the man too long because he get on his Instagram account and Twitter account and them fingers get to twitching and, and, and typing and we don't know what the hell he be doing or what he is saying. But we do know you don't supposed to use no cuss words and, 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 and put the Lord down because you're doing it all in, blunt, in vain. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, <coughs> where did you get this joker from? Where did you pick him up from, Portia? Because he's getting pretty messy. And I would like put two comments. Or show two comments. Because they, they, were, they were burying your, your boyfriend over on his account. They were burying him. Saying he shouldn't be doing this. And then some people. Which really was a hot mess. They were asking Simon to hook them up. With some African men. And I'm like. Women we got to stop being desperate. We cannot look at somebody else's life. And think we can have the same. Because you never know what might be going on in that household. They might be catching poor hell. Have you heard that old saying? The grass always looks green on the other side. But it's not. All that glitter isn't gold. Because it's not. Oh child. But Simon wrote on his uh, Instagram page. Simon's prayer on this day is that you find someone to love you and you love on. When you find God's favor, every waking minute you spend together is priceless. And he ends it with, I'm a blessed motherfucker. I'm like, who does that? Who does that? Okay. I'm going to let it take a moment. I'm just going to let it take a moment to just, you know... Get into your memory banks, get into your mind, and see what could have possessed him to say something so, in a sense, eloquent. But I didn't agree with it because I'm like, you can't sit up there and go find nobody. If you really believe in the Lord and you trust the Lord, even though it seems like it's getting dim and the light is going down out on you. And uh, you know how uh, George Michael said, don't let the sun go down on me. Something I don't know, but y'all know the song. Get into it. But yeah, honey, you can't be looking for nobody out there. That's where you first start and make your first mistake. If you don't pray to the Lord about it, you know, let it go and let God. We don't know when He's gonna show up and show out on our behinds. We don't know. Okay, we just gotta be ready. Okay, you gotta always be in a position of being ready, even if you ain't. It ain't your time to go right now, or it's not your time or your season. To retrieve what the Lord has for you. Okay. If you ask, you ask for a praise for a man or a woman to come in your life. Just be patient. Be patient. Okay. As long as you got breath in your body. And you still good, good sound mind. It can happen. It can happen any day. Any hour. Any month. Any year. Okay. You just got to wait. But Simon is pretty much telling folks. Go out there and look for they, they so called. Uh, husband that they don't pray to the Lord about because you know Satan also be listening as well and you could sit up there thinking something something has been sent from the Lord and it could strictly come from Satan and cause you a lot of heartache and pain later on down the road okay but it was one in particular person that pretty much got in Simon's behind um, they said, so you write about the sanctity and do so with profanity. <laughs> that person was eloquent with that. She was rhyming, okay? That was T T T Talia 833, honey. She, she got on him, okay? She said the ending was unnecessary. 
And I thought so too. I thought it was. I had trouble with the middle part too. I ain't going to lie. Because when he was talking about you go find somebody. No, you don't need nobody to find you. If it's meant for you, trust and believe. It's going to be there for you when you least expect it. Okay? But they go on to say that um, that is the arrogance taking over. Jaw or Job, I should say, had it all too. And I don't have to cuss at the end to remind you of the book. Okay? And she 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 did that. She did that on Simon's behind. She brought the Bible on his behind. And Job, you know Job had everything. The wife wanted him to denounce or rebuke the Lord. Friends gave up on him. You know what I'm saying? Family members gave up on him. They lost it all. Just uh uh-uh, no. <laughs> Until breath go out of my body. I'm going to praise the Lord. Because trouble don't last for always. And <clears throat> excuse me. When there's a uh, sundown, there will be a sunset and there will be a sunrise. Okay? Now, that's what I told y'all. Now, y'all listen to me when I be uh, giving y'all these little uh, n- golden nuggets y'all need to uh, take a part of. Whether you use it in your lifetime, you be able to use it to help somebody over the hump. Okay? You do your due diligence. But, yes, she got into his behind. Like, you don't have to sit there and cuss and fuss and carry on and then you're gonna turn around and lose the lord name and vain like that she ain't like that y'all she did not like it then we had somebody else on his page saying message was lost in translation via the ending that's right that's right come like and why are you always calling yourself a motherfucker and he had something else on his um uh instagram account he called himself a no he did he called himself a bastard now like Portia, 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 baby he's trending he's trending on instagram okay he likes calling himself a bastard and he likes calling himself a motherfucker what is going on what is going on with him can you please tell us what's going on with your boyfriend all right now i heard you call yourself miss dottolina um but I ain't never heard you, you know, disgrace yourself such as, you know, what he's been saying about himself. I'm like, what's wrong with him? Does he have no coof? Does he have no etiquette about himself? And this is a businessman who's supposed to be a billionaire. Who do he serve? What God does he serve that he had to get down here and do these cuss words after he's praising and talking about the Lord has been so good to him? And then he's going to call himself those words. I don't understand. We only use MF when we're trying to get somebody straight. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't lost their mind. And we can't put hands on them. And then that's what we use the MF word, okay? And, you know, sometimes we get mad at a person. We may call them a low-down, dirty astrid. You know what I'm saying? I, I get with that. But usually those temperament type of words are used when we are upset. Okay, and it just feels good to sit there and tell somebody, you know, verbally what you feel about them without even touching them. Because you know if you touch them, it's going to be a situation where bail money is going to have to come from somewhere. (laughs) Is the bail money going to come from your savings or you got to go beg your family members? Hey, I I, I didn't watch my mouth. I I got myself in this situation. Can you come help me out? Can you come pick me up from uh, the jailhouse, please? (laughs) (laughs) And depending on how the judge feel about you, you might not. Well, depending if you go to jail on the weekend, you you pretty much there. If you get there, you get locked up on a Friday, you pretty much there to about Monday or Tuesday. All right. This is how it rolls in Atlanta because, you know, jails are just getting overpopulated. And I'm, I'm not understanding it. Uh, too much either. <laughs> but I'm like, hey, if Will Smith can go up there and slap another man and then have a private life being black and walk away with no uh type of stench on him, no type of repercussions, none of that, no jail time. We always talk about white privilege. Now we got to talk about celebrity, black privilege, okay? Because that would have been, Will Smith would have been in jail if it was me. Or if it was any other lame in person that got hit by Will. God, but we'll be leaving on e- living on Easy Street. I don't know if y'all used to um <laughs> watch uh Fred Sanford Sanford and Son little sitcom show back in the day. He said, We living on a gold mine. <laughs> we 
went on a gold mine because that mean they don't struck it rich. Somebody done in, in, uh, did an infraction against them and they want to be monetarily paid for it. All right. So that's what I'm talking about. Like, Portia, don't leave that man too long. Okay, girl. If this is your soon to be, you say you don't pray for a husband to sitting up here getting the cow without, uh, getting, well, getting the full cow. And uh, well, how, how did the thing go? Y'all need to help me. Buying a cow and getting the milk. Well, leasing the cow and getting the milk for free or some shit like that. Y'all know where I'm going with it, okay? Getting the, don't have to buy the cow if you're getting the milk for free. It's old saying. And I screw them up here and there. Sometimes I be on point with it and sometimes I be in the desert. <laughs> Don't know. I can't see the forest for the trees. I'm just out there in the Sahara Desert. Somebody give me a drink of water. Somebody come to my aid. <laughs> Woo! Okay. But that's all I have for this video. <laughs> and I got two or three more comments. Okay. Because I tell you, I don't be looking for it. I don't be really searching for it. It just shit show, just show up at my doorstep. And I'm like, it, it just don't make sense, y'all. It just don't make sense. How this man can be left alone and his fingers get to twitching instead of going over there looking up, looking at his assets and see if he's playing the stock market or whatever. See if he's rising or, or, or falling. You know what I'm saying? Woo! But this man snuck him putting... um really blasphemy against the lord to tell you the truth but calling himself uh blessed okay and then uh, turning around gonna call himself unmentionable names just insulting himself okay, how you gonna insult yourself let other people do that for it. that's free <laughs> but if you got high esteem over yourself you can do that to yourself you gonna have yourself looking lesser than okay well, this is, I mean, has he got dementia or portion? What, what's going on with him, brother man? He's supposed to be motivating. <laughs> Not tearing down his own self, destroying his, himself. Because we can do that for him all day long, okay? We can do that for him all day long. But he don't need to do it for himself. So we're going to cancel. We're going to cancel for all the time right now. He, he, he's on Messerville. He, he, he living in Messerville Street. And he living in Messerville Country for me. Okay. So no hands. Uh, no hands off of him. We're going to hold hands on him. And we're going to really just drag him for filth pretty much. Okay. Because I don't understand it. Most people try to elevate. Most people try to motivate. This this brother over here is detrimental to him on his own self. Okay. I can't believe it. You can't make this shit up, y'all. You just can't make this shit up. This is in real life. Okay? Real life, this man is doing it to himself. So, if he can do it to himself, what do you think he'll do to Porsche or PJ or any of his kids? <laughs> I'm like, where, where we get him from? We need to send him back. He need to go on back over there with his mama, take care of her as, as best he can, and, and just stay over there. Because we ain't ready for him. He ain't ready for Atlanta. He ain't ready for that life. He ain't. Because he over here renting everything from what the streets are saying. He ain't owning nothing. So, we, 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 I mean, come on, Portia. You got to listen sometime, baby. Listen to me or listen to the other folks out there that's trying to speak truth into your situation. Okay? We're trying to speak some truth into your situation so you don't fall. Okay, baby? We're trying to uphold you to a certain degree. But when you do, you know, F those sh shit out there, we're going to have to call you on it. And hopefully you will repair yourself and do good. But, hey. It just is what it is at this point in time. But we're just trying. You know, look like Stevie Wonder. <laughs> you know, like, I ain't picking out the disabled people. I'm not. Uh, I'm just talking about Stevie. How he be going his head from side to side. And got them black shades on. That what Father Time look like. Okay. <laughs> that what Father Time. I'm not wishing anything on him. So don't, 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 don't get that way. Don't get it twisted. I was just telling a joke. He just looked like that. And, and like Portia with his caregiver. I'm like, see Portia? This is what you're looking forward to. <laughs> you're going to have to lead him. Because he's going to be uh, an invalid one day. Or, you know, I'm just saying. He's going to be older. And his bones going to be decrepit and all like that. And you got to be sitting up there like you're his caregiver. Not his wife. Not his girlfriend. But his caregiver. Okay. But that's all I got for this video, guys. I will see y'all on the next one. Be breezy. Peace.